This is the story of a mountain in Rutana province near the Tanzania border in Burundi. Here they call it a colline or hill. Years ago it was a thriving mountain with sun-kissed trees and a vital diverse ecosystem. Over the years a storm gathered as conflict prompted migration within and outside the borders of Burundi. Those who remained, despite the conflict, cut down trees and cleared land to transform the hillsides into farmland. The natural ecosystem was replaced with temporary annual crops and exotic trees, including eucalyptus, grevillea, and pine. Over time, this transformation of the landscape triggered a collapse in the stability of the land, contributing to extreme weather events, such as flash floods, landslides, and massive loss in living soils, biodiversity, and wildlife habitat. This led to even more internal displacement of people. In fact, the government of Burundi estimates that up to 70% of the internally displaced people in Burundi have been displaced as a result of these ecological disasters. In 2019, the Danish Refugee Council funded a pilot project to offer solutions to some of these problems. Our team is working alongside returning refugees, internally displaced people, host community members, and the local government to build real resilience by reinforcing the capacity of communities in permaculture design, agroforestry, and water harvesting techniques to restore balance to the agroecosystem. This buffers households from climate shocks and stresses as well as extreme weather events, while enhancing food, water, and soil security. This approach emphasizes the use of locally available materials, including organic matter, animal manures, and waste materials, which are often burned instead of being left to feed the soil. Permaculture design focuses on trapping precious water and nutrient inside the soil so that it builds soil fertility while preventing stormwater from accumulating into flash floods that cause landslides. This approach of enhancing local food abundance and diversity has proven particularly important under COVID-19 restrictions because it moves food abundance closer to home. We approached the Resilient Colleen project from three interconnected phases from the household to the farm and finally the landscape levels. From the household level, we trained the community on designing and establishing permaculture gardens in sunken beds packed full of fertile organic material. Families are encouraged to divert household wastewater from bathing, cooking, and washing into swales, garden beds, and tree systems. On the farm level, we do path water harvesting to turn floods into food. We do this by directing the water from eroding footpaths into ditches called swales, which follow the natural pattern of the land known as contours. This traps rainwater, turning it from destruction into production, as it deeply rehydrates the soil to feed annual crops, permanent trees, and indigenous biodiversity, bringing stability to the farm. The landscape level intervention focuses on flood control to mitigate flash floods, gully formation, and landslides. This also helps to preserve and boost the ecological health of the mountain. This type of intervention highlights the power of slowing, spreading, and sinking the water into the soil and the groundwater. We do this through selective tree pruning and dropping branches and leaves on the ground to build healthy soil. We then construct water harvesting half moons or smile berms to harvest rainwater for individual trees. Small dams made of stones on the footpaths slow the speed of water coming down the mountain, while gullies are protected by bamboo check dams that help to reduce the raging stormwaters that eat away at the mountain. All these interventions restore health to an ailing mountain. Tukotu 
turi ko turaraba nka ya mabuye aya twagiye turashiranga aha amaze zana no muvuduko munini cyane aha tuyashiranga aha kugira agabanye umurindi wa amazi hanyuma ku buryo amazi araza akaca agabanye umuvuduko hanyuma mwe akagenda bukebuke nkajya yandi kandi twashitse hajya ahashitse aya hashitse kandi akagabanye umuvuduko ku buryo azoshika epfo ndahuye ndo basimira kose kuko ku bintu zeragiye mbona ndahuye ari mikambi mwiza mwatuzaniye hanza ho hepfo inzi maze kubomo kinchura ka kabiri muyu mwaka uheze yari yasenyutse kubwi nkukurirazi gakukuriza kunzu nyene tubako nkuko ariko ho mukiri yimi iyi mintu ze mwatuza ni imikobe ko twahuyifisa kamaro kanini kuyu mutumba twabasimiye cyane ibikobwa biriko birakorekera ngaha ifisa kama bidufite ya kamaro kanini kandi tubyakira neza turabye turabona yuko hari hindu kari nini ridasanzwe rituma tugira icizerere ko tugiye kuba kuhaba kuhaba nk'abandi ibi bikogwa rero zo kinga kinga ngukura biraboneka ifisa kamaro kanini ya muze mwa nyagihugu huko ibizari bigamye ngo bizo hose bisa nuko bige kuronka gahengo ahubwo nkaboneka na kanya ko gusaba yuko uyu mugambi ubwo kinga nkukura wo bandanya twabonye ko muri nabahinga ari no azo bavaza kwigira ngaha ubuhinga mwakoreshe ngaha twabonye butandukanye aha hazoreza aho reke niterambere ibi ibizo mwishamba bigira amahoro imihana y'abantu ibikingiye nini mu zawo zezikingiwe ha miterambere ku mutumu bakabingo rwendanye iterambere murakoze this first phase of the resilient Colleen pilot marks the beginning of a community's journey in rebuilding their landscape to re-establish the natural functions of the Colleen as a healthy ecosystem that provides for all the families who live there.